this is Shubham on this side in a random video to explain you guys what is LWC lifecycle hooks. If you have ever got scared of this topic, this ends today right over here. Just stick with me. We have a task for one of a friend who have requested us to create a building for him in his land that I have recently purchased. So here is a high level plan that we have where we're going to start with preparing the land, profiling it properly to, so that we can create a proper foundation on it. Then we'll start with the foundation and flooring of it. Once we are ready with the floors, we'll process each and every apartments. Like for every apartment, we'll construct the specifications for each apartment, like one BHK, two BHK, whatever the design specifications that we have for each particular apartment. We'll do the arrangements like the pipeline work, the electrical fixtures, the paint job, the door and window work. And once that is finished, we'll call it off. Now, all of the apartments are finished. We'll call this project as to be ready to use. This is exactly how the LWC lifecycle hooks work. So let's dig into the technical diagram of this. So I will be demoing you guys life cycle hook scenario in which we'll have a parent component, child component instances that will be rendered in it, which are nested inside the parent component. And this is actually the life cycle of LWC. We have this parent been constructed or prepared to be rendered in the UI. Then we have connected it. We have injected that particular LWC components code or say the structure inside the DOM of the lightning record page where we will have the parameters updated that we will be requiring in the child components. We'll create those child components in the same fashion like we'll construct them, connect them and render, render them. And once all child components are rendered, we'll call this project or say our building is done. So I have two components over here. One is parent component, one is child component. Parent component on the left is actually exposed to lightning record page such that we'll have the record ID and we have one child component which is not exposed. It will be used internally in the parent components code that we will see in a few seconds. Then we have the JS of child component where we are just injecting the callbacks or the hooks. Hooks are nothing but the methods that will be called at particular stage of the life cycle of that particular component. So constructor, connected callback, disconnected callback, rendered callback and error callback are all these life cycle hooks that are exactly the same that we saw in the previous diagram. And similarly, we have it for parent. One observation you should do over here is we have two public properties in the child and one parent property record ID in the parent LWC component. Since it's exposed to lightning record page, this will be updated by the record page context. And then we'll look at the design of this. In child, we are just displaying the object API name that we'll be getting from the parent. And we have just added a child component identifier over here in this UI. And on related list parent component, we are just calling the child components. We are giving the hard, hard coded values for contact and opportunity to the object API name such that we can differentiate between it. So first is contact instance, so second is opportunity instance. And then we are also passing record ID that we'll be getting from the record page context down to the child LWC component. The final part of this video where we'll be seeing this code into action and just verify what we have learned is actually how it works. So we are here on a list view of accounts tab. We have embedded the lightning web component in the lightning record page for accounts. And we'll just open one sample record. we can see the parent component has been rendered, 
child has been rendered and in both both of the child instances have been rendered we'll see the logs well you can see that we got first constructed the parent we connected the parent with this id which was not available in the construction construction phase this id is like been embedded into the parent lwc component from the lightning record page context as we discussed earlier now before calling the parent render it will actually render the child components in the sequence from top to bottom which is first will it, it will call the contact child instance then the opportunity as we have written into the code and then it calls the render of the parent once all the child components have been rendered now we will again try to open a different record over here and see if it's the same yeah again we have the same sequence parent was constructed parent was connected connected is basically that the code of this particular component has been injected into this page or tom which is document object model and again the child instances have been rendered then final the parent render was called now what if i again visit this particular page or record and see what happens now so let's go back and try to open burlington and we'll just check for the okay so if you see over here carefully the record that we rendered earlier now is for that record this component is first disconnected its child component are disconnected in the same sequence and then again this parent component is getting built upon on top of that so it's basically like if you want to create a new building we have to first destruct the old building then we'll process the same thing that we've done from top to bottom this is how lwc lifecycle hooks work now there is one scenario which isn't addressed over here yet which is error callback so for that let's go back to the code and what i'll do is in the child component i'll just remove the super call from the constructor of child component which means that it will not respect the constructor of parent component which will indirectly disconnect the bridge between parent and child and let's see what happens in the execution phase see the parent component hasn't been rendered because we messed up the child component but parent should be there right parent is there but wait how let's say yeah so we have opened log we see that it was constructed it was connected connected as in it was injected in this page it was injected in this page error callback of parent was called and it was again rendered as well the error was called and it was rendered with error so let's see if the parent actually exist over here or not so we have this slot yeah and yes you can see this related list this is our if we go back to this this is our related lists parent component it was added over here but since the child component had errors it errored out on the parent component level okay so this is error callback and some extra notes from my end uh, around lwc life cycles like first is infinite loop it is a situation if you don't know how this works properly okay so in the lwc component let's say we are passing the record id from parent to child and after all child elements are rendered we go into this rendered callback and again update this record id to something something else now i'm not going to run this code this is going to burn my console so i'm just telling you if you write this code 
what's going to happen over here is this will update the record ID value it will again try to re-render these child elements since we are updating values on this after these are rendered with the new value it will again call render of the child elements which will again trigger the render of the parent element or component and which will create an infinite loop scenario which you should avoid second thing is that I wanted to add from my side which is connected callback so if you look at the page that I've just showed you and explained you about connected callback connected callback means the component was injected into the DOM right so this connection or this injection is not only when you refresh the page so we have different kind of areas where we embed LWX components, right? Like for example, another use case over here is inside a utility box, we create, a, add a component and or let's say inside a console app, we have a lightning component embedded on a page. In every page or in every area that you work with and every kind of data scenario like API, lightning data service, you should be aware that connected callback doesn't only gets called on page load it can get called when you're trying to re-render some things okay in your let's say in your child component you're binding some new value the connected callback is going to get called again on the child elements so in that scenario you have to properly render i hope most of your doubts are clear with lwc lifecycle hooks if you have any doubt, my recommendation is create a boilerplate code of your components and structure, add the logs, wherever you are embedding the LWC component, try it, be sure if there are LDS data access from Apex or anything like that, just log the lifecycle hooks and see when are they called and accordingly write the code. That's all for now. Cheers. Bye.